Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to announce our decision at this time. Uh, after much deliberation and um, refocusing on what it is that we, we're trying to do here tonight, um, we have come up with an opinion that we've all agreed on as members of the committee. Just let me take the opportunity to say, and I wasn't going to do this, but I'm going to do it. We all wish, as members of this committee, that we could build bridges up here and that we could help bring people together. But we all know, and I'm talking about three of us, that no matter what we end up saying, nobody's going to be happy. And at least half of you won't be happy. But, we're going to, but we have a job to do. We don't get paid for it. But we've done the best that we can with what we've got. So let me just say that there are times, and this is in relation to allegation number one as contained in the complaint, there are times when a mayor must make an executive decision, and that is allowable. But we find that this is not the case here. The mayor's employment and the placement of containers on city-owned property we find creates the appearance of impropriety. And when addressing the allegation, number one, the committee must apply the city ordinance. And as found in section 1-3, subsection 3, anything that affects adversely the confidence of the public and the integrity of the government qualifies as a violation. So yes, there is an appearance of impropriety. But, we, the committee, also find that this issue was addressed and dealt with at the specially called meeting of February 14, 2011. We find no evidence that the mayor benefited directly, financially, or otherwise. Therefore, to the extent that additional action is deemed necessary, we leave that to the council. A follow-up meeting will be held January 19th of this year, same time, same place, 5.30, here in the city hall. Meeting is adjourned.